So welcome to the video guys. Um, today I will take you through replacing the start stop or the ignition button for uh, BMW 1 series. But the button here is actually very similar for most of models anyway, um, very easy to replace. Um, it is a very small modification, but it is something that you press on a daily basis to start the car every single time. So I went for the red, um, it looks a lot sportier, it feels quite nice as well, so why not? Let's get straight into it. So here is something that you need to do this job properly. Uh, we start off with some tape so we can mask off the surrounding um, so we don't scratch any surfaces around it. I have some plastic to remo removal pieces that actually came as a set. And then a pair of tweezers so we can actually undo some clips at the back of the bottom. This pony edge tool is quite handy as well, it came as part of the set. But otherwise a flathead screwdriver would be great for this job. And then finally, the start stop button itself. Um, make sure you have this before you start. To start with, let's start off mask masking off some tape uh, on the surrounding area. This is where we'll obviously start prying off so we don't want any scratches on the surface itself. It's useful to pre cut the tape as well, just three or four pieces, just so you, can, you don't have to keep going back and forth on the process. I obviously use the plastic trim removal piece, but otherwise a flathead screwdriver is okay. Just make sure to go nice and easy so you don't scratch any surfaces around it. Using two at the same time is really handy as well. Um, I slowly start off on the left hand side, um, just pry it off a little bit just for the second one to go through. But it's quite useful to just hold that first one in place so you can easily access the next one. It may take a few tries, but you will see the edges slowly starting to come off. And then from there onwards, it's fairly easy. Just go work your way around and the whole ignition button should come off. Once you've got that off, you can take, take off the tape. We don't need that anymore. Uh, it compromises of that top bit that you're seeing now and then there's a middle piece we're going to take off and then obviously the cable as well. So working backwards, the cable first. Have a look around just to see how many clips there are. But there's two, two clips that we need to take off for the cable to come out. A flathead screwdriver is probably easier to use but I did just end up using that pony um, edge tool, but whichever is more comfortable for you. I had to do this a few times before the cable actually came out. As I mentioned before, just cut off some tape before you do this, just so you can quickly tape this cable to the side. It, it isn't really necessary, but it avoids that cable just going back into that hole and making it harder for you to find the next time. Moving on to that button alone, there's a few clips around the back side that we need to undo. Obviously taking off that cable has made it a lot easier now, so go ahead and find those buttons and from there what I did was I pried off the bottom side while using my left thumb to push it out. And this made the process really easy, uh, I think there's about 6 or 7 clips altogether. Work your way around the clip, but you might have to do this a few times. Uh, but I think the last one's probably the dim most difficult. But once that one comes off, the entire back will come off straight away. Next step would be to remove the old button so you can put the new one in. There's two clips inside that white little piece there. This is where the tweezers become really handy. You can attempt to pull off those clips at the same time, but what I found was Probably a better way is to actually use another tool to push out that button while you undo the clips. This way, once the clips are out, the button will just come off straight away. Perfect. So while that button is out, uh, just compare it to the new one and just make sure the sizing is the exact same. There should be two clips that the, um, the in inside clips will match up to. And make sure you obviously position it the right way around as well. Perfect. So once the button is in, the final assembly please to the back. Uh, they obviously just clip back in place, so just make sure you're facing it the correct way. 
and then also press the button a few times just to make sure it clicks OK. Better to do all of this now before you put the actual button in. Finally back of the card we're just going to attach the cable back in. And I flipped it around a few times just to make sure all the clips are um, clips are in properly. I found two that were in, but it gave me a chance to obviously sort it out before I push the button back in. Finally, just make sure the cable is plugged in properly as well, otherwise the ignition won't stop. All that's left to do is just push that button back into the car itself, and that's it. You've done. Finally, just make sure all the electrics are done. Um, this is obviously a slight modification to the car, so go ahead and start the car just to make sure everything's working. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you for watching.